What is up heroes, this is Minute Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtues Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we learned a lot about Alice, which was honestly a, a very enjoyable episode. However, at the end, we had difficulty decoding uh, the message from the Mirrodons because, well, the, the screen that we were trying to decode went away. Don't know why that makes a lot of sense. I get the game tried to warn me, it didn't come across uh, the way that they had hoped. And <laughs> nevertheless, we got into a pretty awkward ending. Um... But now we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna decode what we can while it's on screen. What's so weird is that they mentioned that it's like, oh, you have six attempts, and you would think that after one attempt you would be able to start the next one, right? So like while I'm looking at this, this is the last time I can actually look at this page with the with everything, right? The code sheet won't be displayed when you input your answer, so it would be wise to solve it now. I thought they were referring to like the code sheet is in the the key itself, not this what's going on in the background. Why even give six attempts <laughs> if that's gonna be the case? Regardless, the key is what one nine eight four four nine three five one. So the first letter would be C. Then we go nine to the right. So one two three four five six seven eight nine. That puts us at O. Oh, I should probably write these down so I don't want to have to go through it again. But C O. And then we have eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. M. Okay. It's probably gonna be like computer. Um, next up would be four from the M. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's a P. And then there's gonna be another four, which is going to be L. Oh, okay, maybe not. And then nine from there is going to be E, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay. And then three, five, and one from that E. So T, E, and then um, D. So completed. Hmm. So completed was the message. That's pretty interesting. What was completed is the question. I did it! Completed! That's it! That's the answer! Completed? Are, are you sure? Yeah. I did exactly what you told me to do, and the word I got is completed. Well, actually, it's completed, completed, completed. The code and the letters repeat every two lines. It just repeats. Hmm. Well, I can't remember the code like you can, but... If you're certain, I believe you. I'm definitely certain. Alright then. I wonder what completed is supposed to mean, though. What? Aside from the obvious, you mean... I'm guessing here it means mission complete. Hey, I'm familiar with that phrase. Also, it's interesting because when we initially heard this code from Dio, Phi asked the question, what's the password for the zero bomb, right? And that's the number we got. So I don't know why it's relevant for this code as well. Maybe it just has multiple uses, but... So that's what the transmitter was for. Yatsu? Huh? What are you talking about? What transmitter? I barely even heard her. Suddenly, my mind was full of memories that hadn't been there a moment before. It was like a wave had washed away the sand, revealing a bed of precious gems underneath. Just broke through another lock, it seems. Oh, Holy Father, Holy Brother, Holy Master. My sacred mission is at, la is at last complete. With these two hands, mankind is saved. I am your will made flesh. 
In your name, I give thanks. Darn it! Why hadn't I realized it before? I could remember a series of numbers, but not this? At least I remembered it now. Dio was a member of the Myrmidons. And not just any member, he was their leader. That meant he had to be the one who'd planted the bombs. Hey, are you listening to me? Yeah. Then answer my question. What the heck was that? What's this about a transmitter? I didn't trust myself to try and explain it to her. More than likely she'd just think I was insane. Even I could barely make sense of this sudden influx of new information. Wait, don't tell me you're one of the Myrmidons. If I was, do you really think I'd reveal myself like this? Point. Out of nowhere, Clover appeared. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Really? We're all down in the Floor B warehouse. Well, all of us but Luna and Quark. Why? You've still got 45 minutes until the White Doors open. I know that. And then why did everybody gather? Oh, okay. Hey. Wait a minute. I thought UK and Quark didn't know about the White Doors. Temyoji told us about them. He said he'd show us where they were, so we all followed him down to the Floor B warehouse. I'm assuming you left Quark with Luna? Yeah. Anyway, when we showed up, Fi and Kay were already there. So... Well, all of a sudden, Fi, Temyoji, and Dio all started yelling at each other. Uh-oh. What? Why? Did something happen? According to Clover, the last AB game had been the cause of their fight. Even though Temyoji only had one BP, Fi had chosen Betray. They started a fight, and since Dio had pressed Betray on behalf of his team, eventually he got dragged in too. That seems odd. Fi only had one BP too. Her choice seems like a perfectly valid defensive move. Ah. Just come with me. Kay's trying to calm them down, but there's only one of him. He's very strong though, as I continually say. <laughs> okay, okay. Come on, Alice, let's go. Actually, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's hilarious. They're actually two of Kay. <laughs> That's so funny, because he's a clone of Sigma. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but if it was, that's that's grade A dialogue right there. Coming. <laughs> that's really funny, actually. I hope that was intentional. I hope it was. Knowing just how good the dialogue and stuff has been from 999 this game as well, I'm sure it was intentional. Uh oh, the music stopped. About to get intense in Warehouse B. All four of them were still there when we arrived. They seemed to have calmed down a bit, but the tension in the air was almost visible. I felt like I'd stepped into a room full of flammable gas. Even the smallest spark could turn the whole place into a raging inferno. Even Kay, usually so calm and collected, was standing ramrod straight with his hand balled into a fist at his side. I looked at Alice, pursed my lips, and then headed over to the angry knot of people occupying most of the room. Clover told me what's going on. This whole thing is stupid. You need to knock it off. Stupid? What about this is stupid? We're talking about my life, you self-righteous dick. I know. But yelling at each other isn't going to solve your problem. 
The best thing for us to do right now is to trust each other and get through this. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm. Hard to trust someone who tried to kill me. Same to you. I told you letting Dio vote was a stupid idea. What did you think he was going to do? You might as well press the button yourself. I couldn't just leave Quark alone. That's no excuse. And where do you get off telling me I shouldn't have picked the train? Did you even think that through? What? I was supposed to pick allies? If I had done that, I'd be dead right now. I could say the same thing to you. Darn good thing Dio didn't choose ally like he ever would. Please, that's enough from both of you. Sigma's right, this isn't the time to be bickering with each other. Oh, you don't get to talk. You try to betray Clover and escape on your own. Perhaps, but I think that's better than nearly killing someone. Well, I only did it so that she wouldn't kill Temyoji. Ugh. Darn it. Enough already. I roared with fury, and my voice echoed and rebounded off the walls of the warehouse. Everyone fell silent. I didn't know how long that silence would last, so I decided to put it all on the table. There was only one way I was going to be able to take control of the situation. Guys, listen to me. We really don't have time for this. I was met with a number of glares, but I soldiered on. See, the thing is, I figured out who planted the bombs. What? Is that... is this what you were talking about earlier? Sort of, yeah. I know which one of you it is. Well, spit it out then. Ooh, Sigma coming in here. Guns blazing, ready to point fingers. Please explain what's going on here. I don't think I need to. They're going to admit their guilt in just a few minutes. What? You're all going to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Or I guess I should say, Dio's mouth. Wait, that's hilarious. <laughs> He's like, I don't need to explain or tell who it is. They're going to tell you themselves. But I'm also just going to tell you who I think it is regardless, right? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Dio laughing it off. What are you on? You think I set those bombs? Yes, I do. Hey, if you're gonna accuse me, you better have some pretty darn good evidence, pal. Yeah, I mean, that's a fair point, right? It's not just like uh, you get to throw it out, throw out an answer, and if you're right, well, they're gonna admit themselves. I'm not accusing you. I'm just stating a fact. Oh yeah? And where the heck do you get that fact? Fun as it was, I knew taunting alone wouldn't be enough to make Dio confess. He'd just play dumb. He was good at it, and I'd get nothing. That meant I was going to have to trick him. Well, you see, I'm actually from Free the Soul. This is great. <laughs> I love this. Free the soul? What's that? Some kind of hippie shoe company? <laughs> Don't play dumb, Dio. Or should I call you left? Brother ordered me to come here. To keep an eye on you. It was quick, but for just a moment I saw his eyes twitch. Meaning whatever we said, it certainly resonates, right? I leapt on that moment of weakness like a hungry dog on a steak. If 
Fine. Skepticism is understandable. Admirable, even. But perhaps this will convince you. I pressed forward, pulling out every fact I could remember. I told Dio about Brother's background, and how his younger brother, Left, had been murdered. I mentioned casually that the Myrmidons were all clones of a single person. Ah, that's right, it's coming back to me now, too. <laughs> so the Myrmidons were all clones of a single person. And so that's how Left, despite having been murdered, is still, well, present in Dio, right? So? Still not convinced? How about this? Do a little prime factor is decomposition on that and you'll get this other number, to the third power. If I'm not who I say I am, what, how on earth could I possibly know that? What? No, that's not possible. Finally. So, let's start over, shall we? I was sent here to watch your every move. It seems our wise and noble brother doesn't trust you. He suspects betrayal. No, you're lying. I assure you, I'm not. But if you don't believe me, why don't you go outside and call him yourself with your transmitter? <laughs> Dio is put on blast right now. But realistically, I mean, who can blame him? Sigma's OP with his access to everything he's learned from other timelines based on all the different branching decisions that can be made in his life. No. No. You have to be lying. Brother trusts me. And there's the convention, or the confession. That's why he chose me for this mission. Why would he have made me the leader of the Myrmidons if he... Huh? Sorry, what was that? I said, why would he have made me the leader of the Myrmidons if... Huh. I grinned. Wait, what the heck? Are you kidding me? Sorry, Dio. I've never even seen Brother. Then what the heck was all that? How did you know all those things? Dunno. Maybe I was divinely inspired? <laughs> Don't give me that. Uh, what's going on? What are these Myrmidons? And now, I, I, want, to, I want them to flash over to, to Alice and Clover. Dio and I stared at one another while Clover and Temyoji quickly explained to Fai and Kei about the memory card and the number two bomb, and about the code we'd found that was from a terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. So you mean to say someone from the Myrmidons planted the bombs? And Dio pretty much just admitted to doing it? Yeah. Baka. I'll never forgive you. I heard a low, furious muttering behind me and turned to see Alice, her lips pulled back into a snarl. I am going to kill you. Yikes. Her voice rose to a scream as she charged towards Dio. He ducked out of the way smoothly and pulled something from his pocket. Ah, yes, this is the knife. Oh, no. It's not a knife. It's presumably the detonator. Whoa there. <laughs> I like my women a little feisty, but you're taking it a little too far, sweetheart. Tone it down. I will say, in the Japanese, he calls her more of like a, like an old lady. It's a little more insulting rather than uh, playful. What? You see this? You know what it is, don't you? Oh, oh my god. Is that... Is that the detonator? Exactly. Then I assume you know what happens if I press this button. Yes, I think I do. I'm guessing it'll set off both of the bombs. Mm, well, I wouldn't say both. You mean there's still a number one bomb we haven't found? 
Correct. And there's one more too. No, there are four bombs? Exactly, I think we've only found three so far. I've planted four bombs. There are the ones numbered one, two, and three, but there's also one more. We found one in the garden, we found one in the the crew quarters, and we found one just now in the laboratory, right? Bomb number zero. And of course we know the password for that. Add all that up, and you're looking at about four tons of explosive power. Those go off, and it's all over. That's enough oomph to turn this whole place into a smoking crater. Aren't you forgetting something? I'd kill you too. So? I'm ready for that. I've got spares. Yeah, he's been cloned. Spares? Is that what Sigma was talking about? Yeah, clones. I heard Alice whisper something to Clover. Let's go, Clover. Show him all that training wasn't for nothing. Oh, I'm getting hyped! Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. Here we go, I'm so hyped. What are they gonna do? Before I had a chance to ask them what was going on, they moved. Yikes, die! She roared and leapt toward Dio, Clover following just behind. Alice threw a punch at Dio's face, and as he dodged, Clover spun out from behind her. Ah, oh, I wish we could see it. Come on, gotta animate that. Dio grunted and turned to focus on Alice, but Clover darted in and snatched the detonator from his hand. Clover, get him! Right. Sigma, catch! Huh? Before I could respond, Clover had thrown the detonator at me. I scrambled to grab it out of the air, and held it to my chest. Darn it! Stop! Let me go! I said let go of me, Baka. Yelling didn't do him any good, and Dio found himself subdued by the skillful teamwork of Alice and Clover. <clears throat> Strangely though, once they had a hold of him, he stopped struggling. I was reminded of a gazelle with its neck in the mouth of a lion. Had he surrendered? Or did he have some trick up his sleeve? It didn't feel right. I didn't have to wait long for my misgivings to prove true. The detonator in my hand suddenly began to flash. W what? Ha! <laughs> Serves you right. What are you laughing at? You, her, all of you. God, you're stupid. What? Why? See that detonator you threw to Sigma? You activated it. If it gets more than a meter away from me, it sets itself off. Ooh, that, in and of itself, is, first of all, a very smart mechanism, but that is quite the trap. We figured someone might try and take it away, so we put in a little safeguard. Since you two were kind enough to take it away from me, the bombs have gone from remote control to countdown timer. Go ahead and destroy the detonator if you want. Won't make any difference now. The bombs are going to go off no matter what. How long do we have? Huh. About 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Oh no. My condolences. What can we do to stop them? I told you that already. 
First, we need the device that allows us to input information. Then we plug into each bomb and enter the codes. Hey, Alice, who the heck are you? How do you know all this? None of your business. Just tell me where the input device is. Ha, well that's none of your business. <laughs> ah, crap! Stop, you're gonna break it! Of course! That's the plan! Please, stop! Just tell me what I want to know. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Interesting, I'm actually surprised that Dio's cracking under this. It's in my coat, the right hand pocket. Clover, check it out. Right. She nodded and started digging through his pockets. After a few minutes, minutes, it's no use. There's nothing here. Did you lie to me? No. I swear, keep looking. Oh, wait. There is something in here. Clover pulled her hand from his pocket and held it out. Is that a pill? Like for medicine? Hey, what is this? Huh? I can't see it. Bring it over here. Clover frowned and moved closer to Dio, holding the pill out toward him. Naturally, he takes it. Suddenly he moved, his right hand sneaking out to grab the pill from Clover's hand. Before anyone could react, he shoved it into his mouth. I heard a tiny crack as he bit down on it. Almost immediately he grimaced in pain. Oh, is it a cyanide pill? Crap! What? What was that? Poison, I guess. What? Darn. How can I be so stupid? His eyes rolled up into his head, and flecks of spittle began to trickle out from the corners of his mouth. I grabbed him by the hair and shook. What the heck are you doing? Where's the input device? I think we actually- we, I mean we- I think we found it, but- <laughs> Lost it. In my couch. Back home. Don't screw with me. Fine. Don't tell us. How about you give us the deactivation codes instead? Deactivation? <laughs> you guys are persistent. Fine. Why is he so... <laughs> he's so happy to give away the codes for deactivating the bombs. <laughs> in the other timeline, in this timeline, he's like, fine. Not gonna do you much good anyway. I'll tell you. But you only get one. This is the deactivation code for Bomb 3. Interesting, so there are gonna be multiple endings, all of which involve Dio, I'm sure, and to some great extent. And we're gonna get one bomb code from each time, because no matter the timeline, he's so willing to give away such useful information. Part of what's interesting is, like, if if he has any sort of... Oh, no, there's no way he'd infer something like the morphogenetic field, right? Although, supposedly, Free the Soul is already familiar with it, right? So, I feel like Dio would actually be inclined to not share this information, because he probably has some degree of knowledge of the morphogenetic field. Just, I don't know if that's, like, true a true inconsistency or, or plot hole or something like that, but... Either way him being willing to give away these codes on his deathbed is facilitating the plot here, so. Ready?
LXQ LHC NMR. I feel like that's pretty similar to the one we got for the Zero Bomb. What about the other three? Tell us the other three! He didn't even seem to hear me. My body will be a part of the foundation of a bright future. His voice was weak, and more foam was dribbling out of his mouth. Such a beautiful world. May brother live in everlasting glory. Those were the last words Dio spoke. He died with a strange, happy smile. I was expecting it to start the credits rolling at that point. Also, I'm, I'm still in my head trying to differentiate Free the Soul and Myrmidon. Myrmidon is like the terrorist organization, Free the Soul is more of this cult, um, and there's clearly some overlap. And I know they mentioned Myrmidon, or Free the Soul funds the Myrmidons to an extent. It seems like Myrmidons are literally just one guy left who cloned himself a bunch and now has an army of his clones trying to create a brighter future. Um, and Free the Soul, I don't remember exactly what the motivation behind Free the Soul is. Is that something that was explained in that other ending? I feel like it was, but regardless, Sigma says, darn. He only gave us the password for one of the bombs. This is bad. What are we going to do? I don't know. How much time have we got? 25 minutes. It's plenty of time. Are you sure? Yes. When he told us the time, I checked my bracelets. It said exactly 30 minutes. You mean the bombs are going to go off the same time the next set of doors opens? Yes. The time on your bracelet is the time we have left. Ooh. So, 25 minutes. This isn't good. I was hoping that we might be able to escape through the white doors, but... It takes five minutes for the primary door to open and close. So... Yes, I know. There's no way we can get through them before the explosion happens. Well, there's no point just standing around. We should start looking. We need three things. The password input device, and the remaining two bombs, right? Right. We also need passwords for all the bombs other than number three. Exactly. Maybe Dio has a note or something? Hold on. Let me check. She knelt down and quickly checked his pockets and sleeves, then sat back on her heels, frustrated. Darn. He's clean. She looked pale. Then we'll just have to hope we find it somewhere. Temyoji, can you go tell Luna what's happened? Right. I'm on it. Good. The rest of you, let's move out. We can do this. Let's go. We all took off at a run, heading to different parts of the building. Oh, you know what? Is Luna a clone of the old lady? I'm trying to think. Does the cloning, like... I don't think the cloning necessarily replicates the person at the exact same time. But, um... If Left was and is old now, but all of his clones are young as Dio appears. I wouldn't be surprised if it was possible that Luna is potentially a clone of the old lady just when she was younger, right? Huh, that could be an option. But, regardless, we all took off at a run heading to different parts of the building. But, all of our searching turned up nothing. And as we searched, the clock kept ticking.
Five minutes left. One minute left. Then at last, the chromatic door is opened. Our time had run out. We watched the white doors open. Were they doors to heaven? Or to hell? The thought barely had time to flutter through my mind before everything went white. We didn't even have time to say goodbye. A thousand emo emotions flowed fl <laughs> words. A thousand emotions flooded my brain in those last moments. Why? How? How had we ended up this way? Then a blistering wave of heat, like the surface of the sun itself, wiped out any lingering thoughts. Ah, the kaboom ending. My consciousness slipped away into a bottomless pool of darkness. Neither heaven nor hell, only the void. What an ending! What an ending. I liked it. It was a good one. For sure. I really enjoyed getting to learn about Alice's background, right? Her complex history, her motivation for doing what she is doing, her passion for, rather, her hatred for the Myrmidons, the introduction of cloning, right? That's an essential piece to this puzzle, is understanding that research for cloning was done by Alice's father and presumably completed, right? And effective and evidenced by the Myrmidons in Dio. And we've put together that piece of the puzzle to an extent, which, which is pretty incredible. We finally got to see Alice have the opportunity to take out some of her frustration, her hatred, and we got to see her in action. We got to see that training that's been referenced so many times actually come to fruition and have sort of an impact. We also got some useful information in terms of the Bomb 3 number, and I'd imagine we can come back to this ending once we find out where all the bombs are, uh, the, the zero bomb namely, and then the remaining two passwords, because other than that, I think we actually have everything. Other than th that last bomb and two passwords, which we'll presumably find in the other uh, in the other ones. Also, it was really neat to see Sigma kind of, I guess, trick Dio into confessing using this impossibly knowable knowledge, right? Uh, that was that was definitely entertaining. And it was also pretty interesting to see that we finally got to a point in the AB games where everybody picked Betray. That's the fear in a game like this, is that you eventually lose trust in each other and you come to a stalemate where nobody's willing to trust the other to the point of, well, everybody betrays and everybody stagnates. And so we finally got to that point in this timeline. The question is, now what? I think we have two locks that are dependent on knowing who planted the bombs. In this timeline, we confirm that Dio planted the bombs. Not just that he's the head of the Myrmidons, but that he planted the bombs. So we can go to a couple timelines now and progress those locks, I believe. And presumably in those other locks with those that are somewhat bomb-centric timelines, we'll probably get two more passwords. My question is, where is the zero bomb? Because there aren't a lot of places we haven't explored. Something interesting that I will say though is when I was looking through the tabs in the other episode for in the archive like something to look back at that at the lines of code that we were trying to decipher I noticed that there was only one more section for a safe password right so there probably aren't too many more rooms to explore too many safes to find but whichever one we do find is probably the one where the zero bomb is but anyways this was the Alice end which was a very, very enjoyable ending. I like this timeline quite a bit. And it makes sense, because you spend two of your escape room experiences with Alice. So, would you look at that? And now, sure enough, yes, we have unlocked these two on the right, which are dependent on who planted the bomb? Who planted the bomb? The real question is gonna be, which one do we want to start with first, right? So this is where we choose to go through the cyan door, which is the crew quarters, with Alice, and then we choose to betray her. You get, you know, gut punch, all that jazz, 
And then we get to choose between these two, right? So in one of them, we ended up going into the archives, and I remember that. And then another one where we go to the control room. The control room is where we're going to find that device, which is pretty neat. The archives is where we talked about the parallel timeline theory. What's this decision point? Oh, and this is where we choose to ally. I don't remember who we played against in this one, but if we choose to ally, we end up doing this. What happens if we do betray? It's the Sigma game over. Okay. Um, so I'd imagine because, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in each of these kind of branches, there's, well, the K game over, the K end, there's the DO end and the DO game over. There is the Tenmyoji end and the Tenmyoji game over and so forth. This is Tenmyoji game over too. Wow, he's lucky. This is probably going to be the Quark end when we finally figure out how to... Um, I mean, that's going to be the one where I think we figure out how to get the bracelet off, right? But presumably Alice end, Alice... Um, or Alice end and then Alice game over. If this is the Sigma game over, this is probably the Sigma end, which is probably like the true ending. So I think we'll start off with this one. How do we stop Phi? And then who planted the bomb? Is this gonna be the Phi end? Ooh, I actually wouldn't be surprised if either the Phi end or the Sigma end is like the, the true ending, you know? But at the same time, what's, a, what's going on over here? Luna. We're just down to the endings for, for Quark, Luna. Eh, I feel like Luna has got, gotten so little, I don't know, spotlight, right? She hasn't gotten enough attention. If she's, she's probably some like dramatically important character that's just kind of lurking in the shadows at the moment. So it's probably not a good idea to try to base which ending we'll go for next based on which is probably like the true, true ending. I don't know. But I think, what would we want to try? Probably... Probably the Phi end? This one over here? I don't know. See what you guys think, but I'll think on it too. I'm Either way, I'm looking forward to it. Things are getting really exciting. The pace of the game has picked up significantly, and I hope you guys are looking forward to um, the next episode just as much as I am. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.